Okay, so I'm here at Wellington Brick Show with Jack, and uh, this is Jack's first show. Jack, tell me about how you're feeling uh, on your first show. I mean, I was a bit nervous to like um, just kind of be amongst everyone else because I've been to plenty of brick shows before, but never actually displayed at one. So, yeah, but I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far, and I'm really enjoying myself. So that's good. Nice. And what was the uh, tipping point to actually displaying at a brick show? Um, well, mainly it was. I thought if I'm building this stuff, I might as well get people to see it in real life so that, because hearing people be like, wow, that's cool, that's a really good feeling. So, yeah, that's the main thing that motivated me to start showing my stuff at uh, brick shows, I guess. Nice. And so you're from Fielding, that correct? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Fielding is, uh, what's that, nearly two hour drive from Wellington, so you've made the trek down, how did your model fare during the trip? Um, well, I went a bit overboard with the packaging, like on wooden bases with a bunch of uh, bubble wrap and that stuff, so it did pretty well, but all the loose pieces and the things that stick up and just a lot of things did break off, but luckily they were pretty easy to fix. Right. And uh, so y your model is uh, a model of the sort of the final-ish scene or the final big battle from Endgame. What was the inspiration? Are you obviously a big Marvel fan? You just saw it and thought, oh, I can turn this into something? Um, well, when I was watching Endgame the first time, as any Lego builder's brain goes, it's like, oh, that would be cool to build in Lego. So uh, I kind of was looking for something to build as it's my first like really big Lego thing and then I decided that this is kind of what I wanted to have a go at. So basically you pulled all the stops out, come to your first show and I am proud to say that uh, you won the exhibitor's choice and the designer's choice. So we have uh, Lego designer Nick Vass at the show this weekend and he chose your model to be his uh, choice for the award. How do you feel about that? Uh, I mean, it was quite a uh, quite exciting when that happened because, like a proper Lego designer, you know, it just is like a really nice seal of approval if that makes sense. Oh, absolutely, and it was a very well deserved prize, both for the exhibitor's choice and the designer's choice award. Well done, congratulations, and thanks for talking with me today.